Let's freshen up your sofa. Welcome to another interior design tips video. So you've got a beautiful, comfortable sofa, and now you want to dress it up by styling it with pillows and throws so that it looks even more beautiful and even more comfortable. So how many pillows does it take? What size are those pillows? Where do you place those pillows? Can you have too many pillows? All of these are pressing issues, no doubt. The style and size of your sofa matters too. So I'm here to give you some tips, but first, some important design tips to focus on. And then we'll break down those tips in some great examples. And wait for the end, I've got some great ideas for styling with throws too. You don't wanna miss that, so let's get to it. First, I want you to keep three decorating tips in mind when you're assessing your styling options for your sofa. The number one thing for amazing styling results are your decorative pillow inserts. I go into more detail about pillow inserts and all things pillow in this video, so make sure you check it out. But in essence, your sofa pillows take quite a bit of use and abuse, so you'll want really good quality pillow inserts to keep them looking fluff and fluffed. Stay away from polyester inserts, they flatten, and don't bounce back after a little while. You'll end up with pillows that look like pancakes. Instead, opt for down feather filled inserts because even when they get crushed or flattened, they can be fluffed back up easily. You'll have fluffier, fuller looking pillows for a long time. Another important thing to keep in mind is that odd numbers are best when you're decorating your spaces. And this is also true for styling your sofa. The general rule is based on the fact that our brains just love odd numbers because they challenge us mentally. Items that are grouped in odd numbers tend to look dynamic and more natural. Things that are grouped in even numbers tend to look stale, cold, and predictable. This also means that even numbers create symmetry, but odd numbers create asymmetry, which forces our eyes to move around the grouping and it just feels more pleasing to our eyes. And the third important tip to consider is layering. When everything is laid out flat, it tends to be boring and stale. When you layer items together, items with different colors, textures, or patterns, you create depth and contrast, all things you want in an interesting and dynamic interior. So with these key decorating tips in mind, let's look at how all of them apply to styling up your sofas. Let's start by focusing on a classic three-seater sofa. First, too many pillows make it awkward to sit on the sofa. So even though these look very plushy and there are five pillows, they are filling up the entire seat of the sofa so there's no place for you to sit comfortably. I love using a larger 22 inch pillow at each end of the sofa and then adding a smaller 20 inch or 18 inch pillow in front of the larger pillow. And then add one more pillow to only one end of the sofa. I love a lumbar pillow for that. It's a different shape so it adds more interest and it's not so predictable. Now you have great looking pillows, asymmetry with the number of pillows, and they are layered to create interest and contrast. Here's another great example, with a smaller pillow in place of the lumbar pillow. This leaves room for actual sitting between both ends and still looks inviting. Some sofas come with bolster pillows at each end, so you won't need too many more decorative pillows. There are only two pillows at one end and one pillow at the opposite end, giving us that magic three pillows for that perfect odd number. This is particularly good if you've got a smaller length sofa too. I also love using a throw to add to one end of the sofa. This adds even more asymmetry to the sofa. Keeping all of this in mind, this is not what you want. Yes, there's an odd number of pillows, but they are lying flat across the sofa. There's no depth, no layering, and because they are evenly spaced, the odd number rule cancels out because it's actually a very symmetrical composition. See how it's just a tad boring, predictable? Now let's look at sofa chairs or occasional chairs in your living room. Scale or size of pillows is really key as this is typically a single seat and you still want the seat to look like you can sit comfortably in the chair. You don't want a decorative pillow to take up so much room in the chair that it looks awkward to sit in. That was awkward. If you've got a large upholstered chair, by all means, add pillows and throws. I especially love a lumbar pillow for these upholstered chairs. I just think they look appropriate for the overall length of chair. A lumbar pillow, by the way, is usually more rectangular in shape. 
So if all you can fit in your chair is a lumbar pillow, then that's all it needs. If you feel that any size pillow looks like it fills up the chair too much, then I'd rather you not have any pillows in them. No decorative pillows for occasional chairs are okay. I also want you to think about asymmetry here. If you've got two chairs in your living room like this, add a throw to one of the chairs to create that extra little touch of asymmetry. See, this is too even. This is much better. Again, remember your tips, great pillow inserts, odd numbers for asymmetry and layers. Are you enjoying this video? Then go ahead and hit that like button, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments below which of these styling tips you're absolutely going to try in your home. I'm excited to hear your thoughts. If you need personalized help from me, you can find me on Patreon. Head over to www.patreon.com slash designchicky for all the details. This is such a popular piece of furniture, the sofa with a chaise at one end. And I'd say all the rules for your classic sofa would apply for this type of sofa, except for one important styling tip, asymmetry. You've already got asymmetry with the shape of this sofa, so you'll want to play that up even more. Keep your larger groupings on the chaise side of your sofa. I love having a throw draped on the chaise. I also love a larger grouping of pillows at this end of the sofa. Lots of interesting opportunities for layers too. It just gives you that little extra touch of interest by not making things even and symmetrical. Sometimes an imbalance is a good thing. Sectional sofas tend to be on the larger end of the sofa scale, so they can handle several pillow groupings. So all the same rules apply as per classic sofas, pillows at either end, making sure you're using your odd numbers, but now you've got this corner piece of the sofa that needs to be filled. You absolutely need a couple of pillows in the corner to fill that space and make your eye travel from one end of the sofa to the other. It's like a transition set of pillows. This one is verging on too many pillows, but if you've got a deep sectional sofa, that's okay. Again, make sure it still looks like you can sit there comfortably. Let that be your guide. And finally, just a few thoughts on the use of throws for styling your living room. Throws or blankets are a great way to add that extra layer to your sofas and your living spaces. I love adding them not just to the seating, but I love having that additional texture and incorporating it into your living room. For instance, in baskets near your seating. Make sure we can see the blanket. That extra texture, pattern, or color is important decor. How about it draped over top of your ottoman? Remember, layering adds interest by creating contrast between materials. I also love draping throws over the back of a sofa, especially if you walk into the room and see the back of the sofa. If you don't have room for a sofa table, to add some furniture layers at a single throw, it makes a huge difference. Incorporating throws into your pillow decor is so lovely. You can drape them under the pillows, or for a more formal look, folded neatly over the arm of the sofa. Again, for a more formal or tidy look, fold them neatly over the chaise of your sofa. For a more casual look, drape them loosely on the sofa or chair. Anyway, throws should be fairly thin, weave so they drape nicely. So here's your takeaway. Styling your sofa and living room seating are the final finishing touches to making your space feel inviting and, well, finished. So investing in good quality pillow inserts is just as important as purchasing a really good quality sofa. And too much of anything is not always good. Keep your pillows to odd number groupings, instantly creating a little asymmetry and layer up your decor to add contrast of color, texture, and pattern. And don't forget, leave room for sitting. Thanks for watching this little design tip. I'll have lots more design tips just like this one coming soon. So don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button so you don't miss the next video. We've got new videos every week. Head over to my Patreon page to help support this channel. I've got lots of tiers including some personalized virtual design advice if that's what you need. And a big shout out to my patrons. And as always, if you like this video, please hit that like button. It helps to grow this channel. See you soon.